Welcome back guys to my let's play of Runaway 3, A Twist of Fate, where we left off. We finally figure out what happened in Runaway 2 in regards to the ending. And we're playing as Gina. We're stuck here in this lovely room where Tarantula is in the other area. I have an idea of how to wake up the bum, but apparently we need to give a message to um, Bright. Oh wait, I didn't think of it. The whole waving the um, uh, white flag is usually a sign of help. I didn't think of that. Let's try with that. I doubt this scarf would make enough noise, although, I don't know, maybe if I think on that a bit more, I'll come up with something. Oh, I was thinking the whole, like, wife, you know, the whole princesses putting the white handkerchief outside as a sign of help, but I guess not. It's juice, not soup. Okay, I th guess not. Why would I- Uh, can I use this on this? No. Okay. Maybe the handcuffs with that? It's juice. If that falls on the bum from this height, it'll Okay, so no. Is there another area? I need I should really just click around and see before I Okay, no, there is no other area. Okay. Okay. So no, we're good. And there's no like pen pencil or anything in this room? Hmm. If I could have no, can I throw the anything down there, like the hit the handcuffs? I don't want to get rid of. No. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess I guess we're rummage again. See what else is in there. No, besides the scarf, I didn't see anything I'd take. Okay. So no. Uh. What a terrible place to keep clothes. Those cleaning products m I used up all the juice in those con- If there were any sheets, A. Take that? No, okay, there's nothing on the shelves. When I figure out how to get my message across to the bum, I'll- I've gotta find a quiet way to ask the bum for help. See, we have- I have an idea, it's just how do I execute it? I must be missing something here. I think there's no other way to get- I guess not. Um... I guess we we'll work out the window again. I've gotta get him to wake up. But I can't scream or Tarantula will hear. Maybe try the scarf again. I think Wasabi left the door unlocked. What? What was that? Who? What? I can't hear a thing. Or I, I, I don't get that hint, or clue, or what she said there. Ten floors. It's Jude. Ten floors. No. Why would I do- Nah. I don't see what good- No way. I'd rather keep it. Okay, what am I missing here? Maybe the pin? It's juice. Doesn't weigh much. The wind would probably blow it off course. Completely- Nah. Hmm. I don't want to get rid. I'd rather keep. No. Hmm. Okay, I seriously must be missing something here. Like, there's no other area around here. There, there, cause this gotta be a pen or something. What am I missing? Why am I getting this like brain fart all of a sudden? Hmm. <sighs> That's kind of like there has to be more on these shelves. Like seriously, if there a, did I try the bottom? I didn't think I tried the bottom shelf. But I'm not even gonna try. <sighs> if there a, those cleaning pro, take that. I used up. I don't see. What Maybe it's a different view from here. 
Those clean. Like what? Oh my god. I. Ah. Alright, guys. I am back after profusely clicking and freaking out something. There's one spot I didn't look at, which is this like tiny little pixel perfect area right here. There's a small iron, like a travel iron. And we pick it up. And then Pa freaks out because I clicked there. It's brand new. I clicked on that shelf so many times. But oh. <laughs> Yeah. Reach for the unattainable present form of what exists in the past. Sure. Um, let's do that. Mm, I think I Um Yeah, I kinda no, yeah, waste time trying. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I may have kind of freaked out. Um, iron with this. Iron it? I think not, but... Call the cops. I yeah. I think it's obvious what I'll be using it for. Yeah, yeah. I like my other idea better, but whatever. That sounds good. Let's get this done. I'll let the scarf hang out of the window so he sees my message after the juice in the bucket spills on him and wakes him up. Oh, I don't believe it. <gasps> I'm going to have to tie you up now. Wait, the end is here. We at the end? <sighs> nice slap across the face I took from that mastodon with the sign. I better watch out if I plan on climbing up there again. Okay, now we're Brian. Um, what does he have in his inventory again? Oh, yes, the funnel and the spray can. Right. From an olfactory perspective, it has managed to reach new levels of achievement in malodorousness. Okay, well, I guess we're rummaged. I don't want to do that. Okay, well, let's see if we can pick up that sign. Go on, keep going. Okay, let's see if I can find that sign. It's perpendicular to the avenue I entered the alley from. Not that there are that many- No, it doesn't look like it. Um, let's see if we can go up the ladder again. Since I don't feel like having another homeless individual slap me upside the head again, I shall try the diplomatic approach. Okay, that's good. Fantastic, Brian. Hey, you, Lummox, come out if you feel like it. Lay off the insults, pal. I haven't dissed anyone here. Haven't dissed anyone. You slapped me across the face harder than Bud Spencer. And I shall repeat that gift for you, pal, if ever you try to prance into my office again without an appointment. By the way, do me a favor and call me by my nom de plume, Mr. Tom Finnegan, scriptwriter. Well, I see a little crane thing I would like to use. Um, yeah, I would like an appointment, please. But I'd like to go through these, too. Um, yeah. Script writer? Have you written the script of any real movies? Too many, pal. So many I don't have any ideas left in my head. You're out of ideas? Hey, I have tons of them. Oh, no. Here we go. Why is it everyone thinks we script writers will be interested in other people's ideas? Uh, because you don't have any of your own? Pal, your reasoning is flawless. Let your imagination flow, pal. Uh. That one? Yeah, we could totally pitch that one. Let's try that one. A dorky guy's driving along and hits a girl being chased by the Sandretti Mafia clan. I don't know. That could be golden chicken material. Pal, please be so kind. Come into my office. Golden chicken material? What? A nerdy guy is driving along and hits a girl. A beautiful one, of course. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Step, step, step. <laughs> Help! The Sandretti Mafia kind is chasing me. Step, 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 step. Hey, damn, she's getting away. <laughs> <laughs> what a pretty girl. I'll take her to the hospital. 
We'd have to change the name of the Mafia clan. I don't want those Sandretti brothers coming over to mess up my office, my wardrobe, or my smooth skin. One thing's clear. We've got a blockbuster on our hands. I just need to know how it ends. Anyway, why were you paying me this visit, pal? Uh... Spiffy office, yeah! Spiffy office? Thanks. And sorry for the mess. I don't know what's up with my cleaning lady lately. Um, what's in those jars? I'm guessing his pee, but we'll ask. What's in those jars out there? One of them just appeared in my mailbox one day with some medical supplies. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I think I know, yeah, we want to continue that story. I, I think it will win you a golden chicken, which there's a golden chicken. That explains the logo when you load up Runaway 3. It's, it's, a, it's a shape of a chicken. That explains that. What do you nope. know about the building across the way there? Ha! It's filled with as many different variants of the stuck-up and upwardly mobile as you can think of. On the first floor are Daddy's Girls and the television talk show host. And on the second are some immature athletes and a snooty broker. And so on until reaching the penthouse, where a psychiatrist lives who thinks he's Willem Dafoe. Okay, that's great. The... because... Yeah, he reminds me a lot of William Defoe. But I actually want to ask about this one, not the second one. But let's ask him about this one. I think I know how to continue the plot of the nerdy guy. Let your imagination flow, pal. The girl and the geek escape from the mafia and... <laughs> Ooh, that's tempting. They meet three Drake. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Um... They meet three drag queens who are lost in the desert. Hmm. That's been done a million times, but it might work. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Three damsels? Ooh, what a stud. Hop in our bus, big boy. Step, step, step. Come here, there's a great view. Yes, this is a great view. There could be a big audience for that. Then what? The Sandretti's find them again. They run away and reach. I like the step, step, step part. That that make me that's making me go. This is like a puzzle to test one's memory of the first runaway. Um, no, we don't see that. Uh, that one. Yes, it is. A village in the old far west, inhabited by hippies, hackers, and a Mexican fortune teller. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Gee, what a swell town. I'll remember it as long as I live. Wee wee woo. He's gonna see that crazy Indian fortune teller. Come, I'll show you the real chicken ritual. That's all I need. With this material, I've got enough to write a masterpiece. It'll take me three or four months to finish up the plot, a few more to polish it, and six weeks to iron out the dialogue. Thanks for your help, pal. The golden chicken awaits us. Thanks for all your help. Thank you for visiting, pal. But wait, don't you want to hear about the second runaway? Okay, I guess we solved that thing. Um, let's go get the container. One is full of liquid, and the others with some sort of olives that are extremely reminiscent of cockroaches. Oh, that just gave me the chills. Um, I'll open this one. Let the cucarachas rest in peace. Oh. Chloroform. Or something worse. A half second more and I'd be unconscious. Oh, get chloroform. Okay. Um, okay, I want to, before I enter here, I want to explore. I wasn't expecting to, you know, solve that shindig so quick. Um, okay, so. Let's go down this alley. Because I still need to find the bucket and the sign that says call the police. Impossible with my bare hands. No, it's clear to me from before that that is- Oh yes, technically impossible. Yes, you are right. Okay, see, I haven't been down here. Oh, oh, oh my. It's, it's starting to rumble. Script Planet Restaurant. Staff only. I shouldn't, but it is a restaurant and I am kind of hungry. Hold your horse feathers. Somebody's knocking at the door. But 
No one. People are so rude these days. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Try again. My deepest thanks for allowing me to enter your humble abode. Encyclopedias, life insurance. Do you believe in life everlasting? Is your furniture from Ikea? By the way, allow me to introduce myself. Jonah Johnson, unemployed actor and acting waiter. With whom do I have the pleasure? Brian. Brian Basco. My mistake. No pleasure at all. How can I help you, my friend? Uh, yeah, exactly. Um. The way you talk reminds me of someone. That's my job. Comes with the territory. Since Script Planet is a movie-themed restaurant, we waiters are all undiscovered actors who wait on tables while imitating known actors. This week I've been assigned a role as a Marxist actor of the Grouchian subset. It's much easier than being myself, especially with all the available documentation. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. Are you coming on oh. to me, sir? A little respect. I'm a youth. I'm a little lost lamb. And if you're on the lamb, you ought to leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay. The restaurant's closed and I'm by myself. I have to wait for the drunkard at table 23 to wake up before I can go home. Who's the drunk guy at table 23? One of our illustrious customers, a bigwig from the movie industry. He's gonna give me a nice roll. That's why I've been buttering him up. Okay. So, you're an actor. Actually, I'm a waiter by vocation. But for the time being, I'm willing to do as a professional actor until I find something more up my alley. Hmm. I'd say you're a waiter right now. Touche. Allow me to exit stage left and commit suicide. I'll be right back. Ooh, <laughs> please don't. Your breath smells. My ex-wife used to tell me the same thing. I told her, hot cakes, believe me when I say I got drunk just for you. Only your beauty twofold could surpass the vision of your beauty onefold. You both look just lovely. In fact, I like the other you even more. Ah, well. I'm gonna go keep begging and stuff. I'll never forget you. Who are you again? Okay. Well, uh, what is this thing? Oh, I guess we can go. We can go get that. There's something hanging from the hole. Can we pick it up? It's locked with a padlock. What if there's an alarm hooked up? I'd rather not risk it. Okay, fine. Um. Oh, I saw a middle hook. There we go. It's hanging from the hole in the sliding metal door. I would like to pick up the hook. Okay. It's similar to the one stevedores use to lift stuff. Arg. A wall, containers, garbage, and an overwhelming stench. Oh, it occurred to me, just to keep up with the theme of horror movies, it's also what the gentleman used in I Know What You Did Last Summer, which this game did a reference to a couple chapters ago, but anywho. There are metal bars strewn about on the upper level. Really makes one feel safe and sound. If this was on Bennett's building, I'd try. But here, for the little benefit I'll reap, I'm not risking it. Okay, let's try going into here. What's in here? Nice building. All that's left is an empty shell. Yeah, it's very interesting. Oh, oh look at the rubble. Rubble! Could perfection be any more beautiful than in a striking piece of rubble? Perhaps in a white twisty tie or, well, Gina. That was creepy. I've decided to take this one because the placement of the two bits of metal creates such a sublime equilibrium that the majesty of the chunk at the base is emphasized to utter perfection. Though in all truthfulness, the rest of it fully merits its description using the poetic term rubble as well. Brian's creeping me out, guys. He, he's definitely gone cray cray. Ah, uh, magnet! The chain it's hanging from is attached to the arm of the crane. The f left hands of the magnet attracts. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, try to get hooked to the magnet. Oh man, it keeps skipping dialogue. Err. Not interested. Thanks. Fine. Let's see what else. Hey, one time I saw a catalog from the Japanese company that manufactures these contraptions. Turns out they're designed to withstand an entire building falling on top of them. Groovy. Can we? Yeah, do stuff. Sure, why not? Darn, it's locked. Oh, can we break into it? We did grab that rubble. No way. I couldn't break that if I pounded on it all. 
These vehicles are specially armored to keep the worker inside. Okay, so yeah, we can't do anything. Oh wait, turns out no. Can we the door go this way? Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's just piss off then. And I guess we can go up the. Um, actually, there's anything up here. No. Okay, coast is not clear. Okay. Then I guess we go up here. And I guess up the um, this thingy. Whilst mounted therein, the intrepid window washers of New York restore the shine and transparency to the windows of our beloved metropolis. Let's see if it works. Yes, let's let's see if it does work. Oh, oh my, that's chicken feet. Holy pterodactyl! What a humongous bird! Yeah, that's a giant chicken. Does it have a pulley on it? <laughs> Judging by its amazing height and the electrical storm brewing, I wouldn't be surprised if it were struck by lightning at any moment. Uh, judging by the height I'm at and the electrical storm brewing, I wouldn't be surprised if a dish of spaghetti fell from the sky at any moment. With meatballs! Okay, that was great. Uh, yeah, pray to the gold chicken, sure. Uh, judging by the height I'm at. Okay, never mind. Okay, even if there's no meatballs, send it down anyway. So I wonder if there's something we can do with the chicken then. I don't like... Okay, well, I s said it. Huh. The lightning that. Oh wait. The different parts of the chicken legs are welded together. Oh, it's falling apart. The different parts of the chicken legs are welded together. Um. I wonder if I can actually throw this at it. What if the rubble breaks? What with the many uses one has for these things, including, well, the things that they're useful for. Okay. Um. Maybe. This with this? Uh. No. Maybe this and this? Uh. No. Okay, well. I don't see anything else to do here. So I guess we'll go back down to the. Oh. Oh, never mind. Not too shabby at all. Looks like crazy people are quite a profitable business. But I've got to get over there no matter how. So we need to throw this over there, I'm guessing. It's not all that far, but I doubt I could catapult myself that distance. Yeah, we need to create some sort of grappling hook, maybe? Um, kind of connect it to A and B. Um, or push the chicken down. That's the other option. Um, I didn't see any rope anywhere. Try looking around here, if it will let me. That liquid will not. Okay, so nothing in there. Um, I'm assuming we're done with him, but hey, I'm Tom, gonna check him need? out. Tell me about your scripts. Uh, I was asked to write a script for which I eventually won the Golden Chicken. Provisionally deceased. The story of three catatonic friends with a great sense of humor. Okay, um... Thanks for all your help. Thank you for visiting, pal. I guess nothing here... Uh... Oh, I guess we haven't looked it's at that. It's the epitome of the junk food concept. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, so no. 
since the invasion of not only it's no I wonder if we have to get the script writer to um, write faster maybe because he is sitting on top of rope oh, I didn't look at that I used it as a hiding place is there anything in it I already took a peek okay nothing left but trash okay fine I need some sort of rope like it would be nice if I could use that sheet that Gina tossed down if but... this was on Bennett's there are or that she would have, but apparently not. Um. Hmm. Is there anything here? I got the rubble. Um. I couldn't really interact with the crane. Just kind of flail about. I wonder. I don't want to get rid of that. The chain it's hanging from is attached. Not in. Okay, so we can't do anything there. <sighs> Looks like it leads to a storage room or something. Better not. Oh, look at the end of the alley. Behind the wall. It seems like a. No. Too much light is. Okay, so no. Um, what am I supposed to do? Um, must be something with the crazy old man. I think that's why I need to. I need to do something with him. I think. Um, so we're gonna head up there. Get into his office. Hey Tom, what do you need? And I'm actually gonna end the episode here, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my let's play of Runaway Three: A Twist of Fate. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos as well. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!